lucid dreaming. Oh, lucid dreaming? Context. Talk a little more about that. Well, I don't know. I'm not very good at that myself. And uh, although it's something I want to work on, and I do periodically try to work on it. But um, actually, Don Juan had good advice about it in the famous set of Castaneda novels. And he, for him, a, a very important thing to do was not only, I mean, Stephen Laberge is a great expert, and there are various people who are really good teachers of that. There's a book by a man named Stephen Laberge, who was a psychologist who researched that. And he'll then, he, he then goes, he teaches, he has seminars in Hawaii and all that. I haven't gotten him to come here, but I hope I will. And you, know, you keep a journal, and you go to sleep with the intention, I'm going to become conscious of myself dreaming in the dream without waking up. And you keep doing that. And then in the morning, whatever dream you had, even if you were conscious or not, you sort of write it down. If you can remember one, sometimes you won't. But usually you will if you start paying attention like that. Because you usually dream every night, actually, even though you don't, you only remember some vivid ones sometimes, and so you sort of put your focus on that. Which is, that's why I do that a little bit. And occasionally I have a little something, but I'm not good at it because I get distracted and too busy, and then I'm too exhausted when I fall asleep and I forget. But, and then I'm too busy when I jump up. But if you live more sanely than I do, you, you, when you go to sleep, you make a big intention. Now I'm going to be aware of myself in the dream that I'm dreaming. Then you sleep, you have your dream. Then if you do the, if you do the clear light yoga of the men not sleeping, you, that's also a kind of intention. I'm gonna, my body will be left in this beautiful, blissful clear light. I'm not going to worry about it, and, I, and I'm going to try to focus on the dream. You could combine those if you wanted. And, uh, and then you do that. But then Don Juan had a great tip, I thought, that I've never seen in a Tibetan book, but I thought it was very, very good when he was telling that annoying Carlos how not to be hung up. But he said, what you do in the dream is you set an intention. In the dream, I'm going to, you know, and I'm engaged in whatever you have visions you're having in the dream. I'm going to consciously look at my hands. I'm going to withdraw my attention from whatever is happening around, and I'm going to look at my hands and become conscious of myself as a body, a subtle body, maybe some whatever kind of matrix body in the dream, because I'm in the dream matrix, actually. It is a matrix body. But the way I will start becoming aware of the situation and what's, that I am awake and conscious in a dream is by looking at my, I'll look at my hands. And Carlos found that useful after much stubborn resisting and so on. And he then began to have some lucid dreams. And I think that's a fun thing. I really like that. Don Juan, the great yaki. Holy man, Don Juan, who I believe did exist, definitely. Uh, some people think he made him up, but I don't think so. I know his, you know, Carlos Castaneda, he had two failed PhD dissertations, and he succeeded his third PhD, and he got his PhD in anthropology. And each of the failed dissertations was a best-selling book. <laughs> <laughs> Tales of Power, and it was amazing, actually, kind of amazing experience. But I know his... Uh, I, I knew his, uh, not well, but I met his um, thesis advisor. And he assured me Don Juan existed. Because he said Carlos could never have made that up on his own, which of course may be the attitude of the advisor, I don't know. But he was sure that he did exist. So, so that's a little bit about lucid dreaming. OK, any other things? Anybody? OK, take a break at ease. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> <laughs>